Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and today we're taking a first look at the brand new Lego Ideas Starry Night. This is set number 21333. It has 2,316 pieces and it's for ages 18 and up. This set here is actually a collaboration between Lego and the Museum of Modern Art to bring to life the Lego Ideas project submitted by Lego Truman or Truman Chang. Now when I first heard that Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh was going to be the next Lego Ideas project, I was kind of like, what is this? It's just kind of like a glorified art project, right? Like my Mickey and Minnie up here, like does that really need to be a Lego Ideas project? And even when the set arrived from Lego, I was a little hesitant still because it doesn't really look that great on the box. Like I wouldn't see this and think that this should be $170. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. However, after building this, my mind completely changed. I really didn't think that this set would be for me. I didn't think I would enjoy it. And to be fair, I didn't enjoy the build process at all, but we'll talk about that later. The finished project is literally a work of art. Like this is beautiful. It is stunning. If you saw this on someone's wall, you wouldn't think that it's automatically Lego. And somehow I don't know how they did this and I am nowhere near this talented. They were able to represent all of the different swirls and paint strokes in this set out of Lego and it just looks stunning. All right, so now you're probably thinking like, Emily, this looks just like the box. I don't know what you're talking about. And that's totally fair. And that's because you're still seeing it in 2D. Like when you turn this to the side, I hope that this shows up well on camera. This is solid Lego in here and this comes out three or four inches and it is the most tedious of builds. It's a a little bit heavy. I'd say maybe like three or four pounds, but it is a very solid build. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I'm way more into the display sets. Like I love the 18 plus type stuff. I love having like a giant display wall behind me. Like that's really what I gravitate towards when I look at new Lego sets. This one is definitely a display set, but oftentimes with the display sets from Lego, they are not very enjoyable to build. Sometimes they are and sometimes they're great. This one was not enjoyable to build. Let me turn this around just so you can see the full scope of what we're working with here. The whole backing to the painting are these plates. It's like seven different shades of blue. So if you are colorblind at all and blue is an issue for you, I do not recommend that you buy this set. I struggled with it and I have no colorblind issues at all, but it was a challenge. Same goes for the tree, but also actually like every other part of the build. It was really challenging. The colors are very similar and it's very tedious. There's a lot of patterns that go on when you're building this set, but then it deviates slightly and it's very easy to mess up, which is extremely annoying when it happens multiple times. I will say that the micro scale aspect of it was really cool. Like I do love seeing it kind of come to life and you're building little things and you're not sure what it is. And then it turns into a beautiful painting eventually. Something that I do want to point out for you guys about the finished build is the lack of stickers but also the printed pieces. They just look so good. It really emulates real paint strokes. All of those round dish pieces in the sky do have printing on them and it really looks like brush strokes. It looks great. I'm really happy that they did go with printing rather than what the fan designer did. Obviously the fan designer did not have the option to do any printing but they did do a great job representing the painting in Lego form. The fan version versus the official Lego version look very similar. It's actually crazy how similar they look. So as for displaying this Lego set it does have this nice black frame around it so it really does look like artwork. But something really nice about this actually is there's a few different ways that you can display it. So you can set it on the table like this. It only wobbles a little bit, you know, but it is sturdy. Like don't put it somewhere where you're always bumping into it. Also, it does have this hook in the back. So you could hang it on the wall somewhere. It is a bit heavy, again, like three or four pounds, something like that. So just, you know, be wary. Don't hang this on a thumbtack or something. But also there is this little stand on the bottom and that's what helps it stay upright when you do set it down on a surface. You can actually set your Vincent Van Gogh minifigure and his easel to the side and it's attached to the painting. You can swivel it a little bit as well, just depending on what you want to do with it and it kind of looks like he's painting the scene so it's kind of meta kind of cool there's also a really cool printed piece here that we'll get to in a sec but that's all just attached by this technic pin here that you can take in and out very easily so now let's take a closer look at the Vincent Van Gogh minifigure that is exclusive to this set, as well as his canvas. Here we have our Vincent Van Gogh minifigure. He has this very stern face printing with an orange beard, orange hair. He has some really nice white stripes along his blazer and pants. The blazer stripes extend to the arms as well, which is really nice. I love it when they do include arm printing and exclusive minifigures like this. It also extends to the back. We get those nice buttons and just more detail on the back there. We get arm printing on both sides as well. For his accessories, we have a paint palette and a paintbrush and I do want to point out that the paint palette is a great representation of what is shown in the actual painting. That is a really nice touch. I'm so happy that they did that. I think this might be exclusive because the colors are a perfect match but I'm not exactly sure. But 
overall, it is really nice to have a brand new exclusive minifigure included in the set that necessarily didn't really need a new minifigure. I love that they included him. I think it really finished off the set very well, and it's great that you're able to display him along with the painting. And then here he is on the display stand that you can put right to the side of the painting, just there. Something really nice here is this brand new exclusive printed piece. This is, of course, Starry Night, just printed on the Lego piece. It looks so good, and it's really nice to have this kind of to compare with the finish product. Both are fantastic, but it is just a really nice touch. I love when there's exclusive figures and pieces in new Lego sets, and this one has both. All right, so overall, this set is perfect for display. You can hang it up on your wall, and most of your walls are already full. I know some of you guys have that problem. And again, having this set at a retail value of 170 does seem a little bit high, especially when the box art does not look as good as the finished product. Like, this is stunning. But also, I'm just trying to keep in mind how expensive art is. You know, you can spend like a thousand dollars on art. You can spend like a million on art. I don't know. I'm not an art collector, but 170 for a really nice little piece of art, especially if you're a Lego fan, does seem like a really good value. That being said, I would love to hear your thoughts on this set down in the comments below. Are you planning on getting it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What are your overall thoughts? And also, if you're brand new to this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out. Thank you so much to Lego and Land for sending me this set for review. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.